Good night, scholars. We're doing some algebra in the C's first class, and this following the series Love and Blessings. Two by two is four. <laughs> um, two squared is another way of writing four. So, what about two by two by two? I'm just getting rid of this little thing here. Yeah, two by two by two is like two cube. This is what we're really interested in. Two cube it means multiply two by itself three times this part is called the base and this part is called the index or power you have to know that forever and ever so is algebra we dealing with so let me put x's you know we love the x's this is the reason we write with x like this eh? because the next thing you have to write x multiply imagine if you write in your x like this how you gonna know? You get confused all day. Anyhow, but an easier way to describe this is since x is multiplying by itself four times, you can write x as the base to the power of four power index. Now, I want to show you a little trick here. This is x being multiplied twice, and this is x being multiplied three times. So this is really x squared and an x cube hiding in the darkness here. But if we consider it as the whole thing is x five times, what that tell you? Bring it down and multiply sign. What does that tell you? That tells you that x squared multiplied by x cubed is x to the power five. Now that is a little strange for some people because if you ask some people that just so, they might think this multiplied by that, okay, I'm going to multiply the two by the three and I'm going to get x to the power six. No, don't do that. When you are multiplying and you have the same base, you add the powers. You dig? So if you have 5 to the power of 7 multiplied by 5 squared, which one do you think it's going to be? It's not going to be multiply and give you 14. It's going to be add. And did I put 7 there? It's going to add and give you 9, right? So this is the correct answer. Please note, base must be the same for this magic trick. All right, what about if we have the division now? If we have division here, let's express it in like what division really is. We have 5 by itself 7 times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, multiplying by itself, right? Divided by 5 squared. <coughs> 5 cubed. Divided by 5 cubed. 1, 2, 3. Good. So what's going to happen out here? What's going to happen out here is that this will cancel. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You understand? You remember them canceling things, standard for one thing. Top, bottom, cancel, right? Boom. And we're going to end up now with 4, 5. So we could call that 5 to the power of 4. What you notice? What you notice? When you're dividing, you subtract. So this is 7 take away 3, 4. So if you see a division sign there, you subtract the powers. That leaves us with our first two rules of indices. That is what we call this whole topic, right? Indices. So you'll see that topic in your textbook. Go and take a look at it, mash up all the questions, A to Z, whatever. So if you're multiplying and you have the same base and you have different powers, add them powers, my friend. This is going to take you a long way. You have to know this. You have to know this to handle algebra properly. If you are dividing, you have to subtract the powers. This is just our way of expressing the rule we just do. I mean it in letters, but it means the same thing if it was numbers, right? If it were numbers. Now, watch this. A to the power of 3 divided by A to the power of 3. You do your thing, you subtract the power, so you get a to the power of zero. But what exactly does a to the power of zero mean? Is it zero? Is it a million? Is it some number? What is a number to the power of zero? Let me show you. So behind in the background here is the a cube divided by another a cube cross out. And we know if we have the same thing on the top, and the same thing on the bottom and you cross it out, you're going to end up with 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1. 
4 divided by 4 is 1. So 8 to the power of 0 is 1. Any number to the power of 0 is 1. Let me add in that rule too. 8 to the power of 0 is 1. And I'm going to check in the next rule. And only. Any number to the power of 1 is itself. For example, 3 to the power of 1 is 3. 4 to the power of 1 is 4. That is it. We have four beautiful rules here. I feel like it's enough to call that George for the day now. Question time. It is question time. 3 squared multiply by that. Add up them powers like a boss. Ting, ting, ting. Bah. We good. No, more powers to add. A plus A. Different base here. Not going to catch us. So this is going to add up. And we can just leave that alone. Right? 2 plus 2. And just leave the B alone. So this is A to the power of 4. B cube. Notice I didn't bump, I didn't have to put any multiply sign there. I could just leave that because you know algebra when you see letters standing up next to each other, when you see letters and numbers standing up next to each other, just so just so it means multiply them. Um different same basis here, same basis there. A lot of stuff going on here, right? So this is really P2 plus 4. Mm, multiply, let me just put the multiply to separate it, get a little separation 5 take away 2 because these were dividing so this is p to the power of 6 multiply by q to the power of 5 take away 2 is 3 every day, all day don't do anything here because you have different bases so just write p, 6, q, 3 call that George, be happy um, we wanted to simplify all of these questions, right? So you don't need to give them a full answer if they say simplify. Just simplify in this case, in this case. That's what I want when you're asking these in this case questions. Here's some homework that you can try. It's listed on the student hub. Um, I'll leave the link in the description so you could go and download the homework, print it out, do it for yourself. And in the next class, we'll start back off with that homework and get that done. Until then, love and blessings. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. See you hopefully tomorrow. Unless I'm feeling a little too sleepy. What's the time? It's quarter to three right now in the night. Love and blessings.